goodness, starting off the day here with a gator. In the Celebration Pond. Take a look, a good size gator. It's it's not a it's not a youth. Might be a full might be a full grown. Probably what six feet maybe if you had to guess. Ooh, turning it's turning this way. It's coming over here. Oh my gosh, this gator is coming over here. Quite a little group of people are kind of watching, but you can see it's right here off of Market Street. Take a look, this gator is heading over to the shoreline. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was gonna start my intro over here, get a piping hot caffeinated beverage from the coffee stand that's over on that corner. But this gator is like really heading right in. This episode, by the way, as the recording of this, is a Monday morning, March 14th, 2022. Should I be standing this close to this gator? I am. Monday morning and also, you know, Mondays are always an interesting day anyway, but today I have a tax appointment later this evening. It was gonna be earlier in the day, but it's technically not till 7 p.m. So I have the course of the day to do other things. But I just wanna talk about how I prepare taxes and how I, you know, save throughout the course of the year. First said, Uncle Sam reaching into my pockets. And I'm also about to check my P.O. box. My P.O. box I have not checked. Two days ago, I went and took the key up there, looked in the P.O. box, and they had placed a note saying, you have a lot of, you have a lot of envelopes waiting. And there's a card in there, so I have to go in on an open day. So I had to wait till today because over the weekend, I could, it was after hours. And then yesterday, because today's Monday, yesterday was a Sunday, it was closed. This gator. Okay, Gator, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta do my intro. Hey, notice that sign. It says it's a violation of Florida law to feed the Gators. I think that's possibly what that Gator wanted, so that's what, now that it's pulling away from the shoreline. I've seen a lot of Gators out here lately. I think there's at least two that live in this, in this pond, well, Lake, Lake Reinhardt. Tax day and post office package in hopefully just envelopes. Day. Not the most exciting, but you know, it's a Monday. The length of the line at the Starbucks is pretty lengthy, so I opted out of that. Walking over here to the Bohemian Celebration Hotel. Take a look up top, there's a bunch of crows up top. But fun fact, they do have Starbucks inside the Celebration Hotel. Now it's it's just, you can just a cup of coffee, you can't get lattes or anything like that, but I'm gonna go inside and see if that's the case, right inside this very hotel. Okay, success, it worked out. They just have regular coffee, but you put, put a little bit of cream and a little bit of sugar in there. They also have a restaurant in there I've never eaten at, it's like a lakeside restaurant that one day I'll have to try. What if that gator is still over there? Welcome everyone. Adam is wooey here. Probably not the most safest place to be standing. Because as stated, there is a plethora of crows. A Hitchcock would be yep. inside tip. Local tip, if you will. If that particular establishment is very busy, they have coffee over here as well. They also have it on Market Street at the, what's the corner market? Corner, the corner market? Cornerstone Market, I believe it's called. And also over at the church, they have a coffee place, but I did walk over there. That was closed. Those are usually the three or four spots that I will choose today inside the Bohemian Hotel full of crows. Tax day, checking my P.O. box day, and possibly, most likely, shipping out some items, stickers and free pens buttons, things like that, one inch, stuff like that. To, to folks who sent me a self-addressed damp envelope. I'm not gonna go into that again. Talked about that a few days ago, but today is mail day, shipping out free stuff and taxes. Uncle Sam, this, I was gonna say cheers, but you don't get a cheers, Uncle Sam. <laughs> you get, you get, you're getting enough than more that you don't need a cheers. Join me, shall you? Oh goodness, this gator is right up 
alongside of the wall right now. The cater's like down there in the water with everyone kind of looming above said gator. Yeah, from this angle, you can really see the, the size of it there. Just kind of getting, definitely getting some sun today. The sun is out. Oh, there they go. All the flock of the birds there in this. Yeah, hello, Mr. Alligator or Mrs. Alligator. Not really sure. Not really sure if you're male or female. It's hard to tell from this angle. I do kind of wish I lived around here or at least visited on a regular basis back when they did, at, you know, shortly after the, the opening of Celebration in 94, they had sailboats and little boats that you could rent and take out on the water. It'd be neat if they did that again. That'd be a good business plan for someone, or maybe it's not allowed possibly because the gators are in there. Who knows? But this is just such a cool vibe. It reminds me, you know, a lot of, I always say to this, reminds me of Pleasantville, also reminds me of Mayberry, and it reminds me of the Truman Show and Main Street USA at any of the Disney parks. So it's a combination of those four things. That's the best way I can describe it here on Market Street, AKA Main Street, Main Street USA celebration. A little bit smaller version, but very similar to an alligator is this lizard over here. Right there, a little lizard. I'm walking around, not the backside of water, but the backside of the main road, heading over to the post office. Do love the architecture through here. I've stated this before also, but Michael Graves, not the singer for the Misfits, you know, Danzig was in the Misfits, so they also had other singers. Michael Graves had an era as well. When I was in a band once, Michael Graves played an acoustic show and my band was not an acoustic band. You know, we were full on with the bass guitar and the electric guitar and the drums and everything. We opened up for Michael Graves, very nice guy, but this is not the Michael Graves that built this architecture here for the post office. But he also did the Swan and Dolphin Hotel on property and also did in Burbank at the Disney Studios, the building that houses, you know, has like the dwarfs holding up the roof. Michael Graves also did that, but he also did the post office here in Celebration. Looking across at the spires by the theater that is not operational at the moment and as stated even though I can check the mail anytime they said it was full they left a little envelope in so I have to go inside it is pretty neat giving the history of this place and the architecture of it that I do have a P.O. box here as well you don't see too many post office is that look like this you got the flag out front you got other architecture over there that's pretty amazing, and of course this also is very, very different. But you don't see too many, you don't see too many post offices in this fashion, do you? Oh my goodness, I was expecting a few letters, I was probably expecting maybe a hundred letters, give or take, when I showed up to Postal Employee. She was very kind and very patient, and she just kept bringing them out, bringing them out, and then put them in my Bucky's bag here, and then just decided I'm just gonna give you this entire tray. Bring the tray back back at some point. This is how many envelopes showed up. A lot. And I do have to say thank you to everyone. Pretty much it appears to have followed the instructions pretty well. Only one or maybe two smaller packages. I did ask, do not send anything other than a self-addressed stamp. You can go walk back and watch that video. I'm not gonna go into those details again. And I'll probably even taper off of mentioning this you know, every so often, just because I don't know if, you know, receiving this many on a regular basis might be, I'm, I'm gonna run out of stuff to, to stickers and pens to give away. I went in and had them weigh this, which inside of here, inside of this very envelope is, I put four or five stickers, three pens, just to be on the safe side, and she was saying it's gonna be 88 cents to ship. So anyone that sent one self-addressed stamped envelope, I have purchased, I'm going to pay the difference because I was incorrect with saying just send one self-addressed stamped envelope. This is gonna be about 90 cents, give or take. So I'm gonna put two forever stamps, which is gonna be you know a dollar and 10 cents or dollar and eight cents, so that will cover it. So anyone that has sent the self-addressed stamped envelope will be getting back at least at least three stickers and two pens. And until I run out, you might be getting five stickers and two pens. Wow. So freaking cool. I, this makes me really happy that a lot of, a lot of folks went through on sending the self-addressed stamp. And this is only a couple days worth. Yes, as stated, this might be the last time I mentioned this for a while. Obviously it is mentioned in this. So anyone that wants to get on board with the offer, 
free stickers, free pins, self-addressed stamped envelope. Go back, back and watch the video I did a couple days ago. But after this, I might let it subside because I would imagine for the next week or two, the influx like this will be pretty heavy. All right, fast forward a few hours. I have had a pretty active day so far, meaning I have now readied, if you will, about 150 letters to send out, going back to the post office. I counted the ones that showed up, about 600. So it means I have to order more stickers and pens because I do not have enough, you know, to, to furnish all the envelopes that showed up. I've done about 150, pretty proud of myself. It's kind of therapeutic to open all the envelopes, take the self-addressed stamped envelopes out and stuff some envelopes. It's been a while since I've done that. So it's kind of a, kind of fun. It took me, I don't know, three or four hours probably and it got a little quicker towards the end I developed a little bit better system so I think as time goes on I'll be able to do it a little quicker but all these are going to the post office right now back to the post office which just so happens to be right over there yeah that's where the magic happens right there USPS United States Postal Service pretty amazing how it all works any sort of delivery but yeah, Postal Service has been around forever. Also, as stated, don't know if this would be a continual thing. I probably won't mention it anymore. So this will be the last time I really even mention this exists. So if you get in on it, you know, it'll still be open. So I'll still keep replenishing whoever sends stuff. But yeah, this was the turnout of who followed the instructions. And I also must say, Everyone follow the instructions correctly. Put the stamp on the self-addressed stamped envelope. Didn't send anything. Worked out well. I would have thought it was a little too over-detailed with everything, but I guess I wasn't. Everyone got it right. Okay, this just happened. Same day, four more crates. This entire bin. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, a few thousand more letters here. This is probably gonna be a one and done type of deal. Oh my gosh, there are five. There are five. There's even more down in there. I gotta rethink this. I gotta rethink this. I am blown away right now. I was, I was earlier. This is a whole other level. This is incredible. It's gonna take me a while to, to send everything back. I gotta reorder some other stickers. I have to reorder pins. And officially as of right now, I think this is a kind of a one and done. I think everyone that has sent it in, if you've already sent one in and you're watching this in this video, I will replenish whoever sends one. But after today, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle it. This is awesome. What the heck? It's like thousands. <laughs> I don't have enough. Okay, I don't know what else to say. This is. I was expecting like maybe a hundred letters. All right, this has been emptied out. They said to just bring it back up to the back door. I'm done loading it in my car. All right, 
I, as of this very moment, earlier, I thought it could possibly continue as far as me being able to replenish everyone that sends one in. I, I thank you for the vote of, con not only the vote of confidence, but also going back to the, not the Stone Age, but to a more retro time of the self-addressed stamped envelope. I didn't think that before you would, would even do it. I knew a lot would do it. I, I figured a lot. But one thing I realized when I was stuffing the envelopes earlier, putting a name with a subscriber count or someone, you know, that chimes in from time to time, seeing that that, not that you forget that that is a real person, but sometimes the internet has an unusual way to see that there, that you forget that there is a name behind the screen name, a real person's name behind the screen name. And when earlier, I was spending a few hours unpacking the envelope, stuffing the envelopes, that brought back, that kind of like some, brought some joy to my heart to, to remember, to, to have that kind of go for, almost like doing a meetup. Not quite the same as a meetup because you're not face to face, but seeing names, addresses, places I have been, states I have been, things like that, it really kind of, kind of hits home to some degree. And I, you know, the first seven, eight hundred thousand that I got this morning, which were obviously over the weekend, you know, kind of hit me pretty hard too, like, wow. This many people are going to this, and this is a whole other level. I am not gonna be able to do this every day. It took me quite a while to even do the 100, 150 that I sent out. If you're one of those 150, you should get it soon. So from here on out, if you have not already sent one, now if you have one in the process, you're already stamping one, and you watch the other video, fine, go ahead and send that. I'll, I'll get all to all those in time. But after that, I will not be mentioning this. This will not be a thing anymore. I will not be creating any new designs. I will replenish the designs I already have for those who do not have them. But wow, this experiment has been a heck of a one and a success. And really, this was only the full day, because obviously the, the post office is closed on Sunday. This was the first full day. This morning was probably Saturday's mail, or maybe into Sunday, and then today's mail showed up here as a recording of this on a Monday. Goodness gracious, and I have a feeling over the next series of days it's probably going to be that intense. I, I just thank you so much for for humoring me on this experiment. And I, I will send everyone out what I promise. I'm just going to have to go on, purchase more stickers, get more pens. Wow. I, I can't be the only one that's kind of flabbergasted by the number. I knew it was going to be a lot of letters, but whole other level. And to think I started this video as really wanting it to be about how I was gonna do my taxes, but I still have a tax appointment at 7 p.m. down the ways a bit. And I really kinda wanted to state how I do my taxes. Basically, I put one third of all my income that I make off of the platform here, I put that in a separate savings account, and when it's time to do my taxes, I'll have my write-offs. You know, I write off a lot of stuff like hotels, and gas, and flights, things like that. Purchases like, you know, camera equipment, admission into certain things, and those write-offs, you know, help make it possible for me to get it down to a, a, a percentage-wise, based on what I make per year, a percentage-wise, basically, to be able to, to take that separate savings, I have a regular savings, I have a checking account, I have a regular savings, and then I have a second savings, which is used for my taxes every year. It's very stressful. I get very stressed out by taxes. But luckily, I've, I've learned a long time ago that when you're kind of at a level where you're getting decent views and you're making some income off of the platform, you really got to put money away. So if you're planning on doing this as a career, trust me, you're not going to be getting money back. You're going to be paying Uncle Sam his dividends, his share of what he's going to reach into your pocket and take. I put away one third. And by doing that with my write-offs, I have a lot of write-offs this year, an exorbitant amount because I traveled a lot, a lot of hotels and whatnot. I usually can get a little bit back for myself. Usually I have more than enough saved by saving, you know, one third, 33%. That's just the way I do it. So I am now gonna go back home, put all the envelopes away, maybe stuff a few more. I've, it's going to be a work in progress over the next you know, couple of weeks, most likely, doing this all myself. And I have to reorder stuff. Probably got about a third or more of the, the stickers. I ordered 500 original pens, two different designs, 500 stickers. I've got to order 
a heck of a lot more than that to recoup what's in there. But the rest of the day, I'm gonna go home, prepare my tax, print everything out that I need, show the account and things like that. But that's it, I just wanted to mention doing my taxes and the, the whole tax thing, which this episode was gonna be focused on, has veered into the overwhelming success of my idea for the self-addressed stamped envelope, giving out free stuff. This will be the last time I mention it, but expect one. If you followed the guidelines, follow those rules, you're gonna get some stuff. And 150 of them just went out. I just dropped them off inside. So you should, you should get those. If you're one of those 150, you should get yours soon. And the other 2,000, soon enough, within the next week or two. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's restored my faith in this platform and the fact that everyone kind of abided by the requests that I had to a T, I'm very thankful for. It really makes me happy. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Oh man, what just happened today? The vlog is over.